Hey, Jeffrey, congratulations on the win. I guess, how did it feel to go out there, uh, get back out on the field after what's been such a weird off season, and, and uh, how, how physically are you feeling right now? It felt great, man. We had a great um, game plan. We came in, you know, came in, and, you know, we, we came in saying that we we're going to stop the run, you know, affect the quarterback. You know, for the most of the part of the game, we did that. But, you know, we have to get back, you know, we got to put the game behind us. Um, and try to, you know, get ready for Jacksonville. But like I said, we got to enjoy this win. But, I mean, it's a it's, it's small things that we can do, get better on this. With, we get better with on this defense. And, and once we put it all together, we'll have, you know, I think we got one of the best defense in the league. So just got to keep working. And, and like I said, I feel great. Um, I know more, the more, you know, that I could do and help this team, you know, play my best game and get some wins in this uh, league, you know, especially help this team win. Now, that's just my opinion. You know, I want to come in and play my best ball. You guys seem to be particularly uh, stout on the on the goal line stops. You had a couple of them, and you were involved with it. How much pride do you take in the ability to affect the game in that way? Um, that's what we, we take pride in that, and not just me. It take all eleven on the field. You know, and and we when we get on the goal line, we know that you know the first thing they're going to try to do is run the ball. And um, we got to just buckle down, you know, draw a line on the goal line or wherever we had on the field, no matter what it is. You know, we got to say, this team would not run the ball on us. And I think we did a, a great job collectively, you know, just stopping the run on the goal line and, you know, just getting off the field. Thanks, man. Kyle? To sort of follow up on that line of, of questioning, <laughs> is that goal line situation – where it's uh, sort of gladiator <laughs> combat in there. Is that where you personally sort of are at your best? Is that kind of situation where you feel like you could sort of really um, dominate or, or enforce your will? You know, um, I, I try to, you know, every snap I want to give my best, but at the same time, you know, when you're on a two-yard line, a team on a two-yard line, you have to have that mindset. Like, they won't run the ball. Like, and that's when it's really, like, like you said, kind of get a little more, you know, I'm juiced up, but I get a little more juice when they get down there, you know, like, well, they won't score, you know, they, when the offense, when the opposing offense don't score and we have points on the board, that means we win. So that's why I said we have to just draw the line. Like I said, it's not just me. Um, all them guys up front, the linebacker, secondary, everybody with juice, you know, everybody communicating, let's stop the run, you know, let's get out the field here. So, I mean, it take all 11 of us. Teron? Yeah, Jeffrey, now that you got to get out there without the brace on and also in, in tandem with, with Clowney, what was it like out there? Well, what can fans and, and us as media folks expect from the duo that you guys have, have established? Um, like I said, I, and I said it before, um, it's not just me and Clowney. You know, um, we have a game plan that, you know, that fit us, you know, to try to help us do it and get a win. But at the same time, you know, I, I kind of, he a big present to us, I think, on defense. You know, he helped us out a lot, you know, um, with his, you know, being dominant and disruptive up front. You know, being, when we have a front like that with me, Daquan, Harold, or, you know, Jack, you know, Clowney, you know, just getting stopping the run, and then that just gives an opportunity to actually, you know, get to the quarterback, you know, put pressure on the quarterback and affect the quarterback. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to, you know, keep building off this game and see how we can get better and, you know, translate to Jacksonville. And so far, and like I said, I'm just excited and to see how much more we can grow from this game. I know the injury isn't something that you're thinking about, but what does tomorrow look like for you, being as though, you know, that's something that's behind you, but now you got to make sure you continue your maintenance? I mean, for sure. Just um, like tonight, especially when you get on the plane, you want, you know, you want to go back and watch the film and see, you know, of course you want to see how can you, um, you know, from the game, from this game here, what can I do better on this game? I mean, on this play. But like I said, you, we have to get ready to prepare for Jacksonville. You know, it's kind of going. I think it's going to be kind of a short week for us. You know, we play Sunday. Um, as you guys know, we off tomorrow. But you know, just get in and try to watch a little more film with the coach, Coach T, and you know, see what they got up for us. You know, see have they, you know, see can he? I mean, what like who who I'm matching up with? You know, just tomorrow, just spend that time recovering and. Still, um, you know, taking care of this uh, next game coming up. Thank you, Emily. 
So there was a little bit of a crowd there, but what was uh, game day in 2020 like for you? You know, I came in this game, you know, I was hyped, you know, I was you know, just getting that first game, you know, it was, it's been a long time, you know, just especially with this pandemic, you know, just getting able to actually go out there and put it all together with my teammates. You know, I was, you know, more juiced up than anything. You know, I was just, especially just to see, you know, all the guys, you know, that just amped up and ready to play. And so I, mean, I was amped up my, the whole day, you know, I just woke up, couldn't really even sleep last night, just, you know, dreading it that I'm getting ready to, you know, actually start, you know, this season off with a great win. And we actually got this win today. So, you know, I'm excited. Time for a couple more. Jim. Hey, Jeffrey, uh, in addition to the play near the goal line, you also had a fumble recovery. I know you made your disruptive throughout the night. How good personally for you to make such an impact from the get-go here at the start of the season? Um, you know, when I went, you know, just think back when I met with you guys um, during camp, you know, I said I want to be the best Jefferson I could be, you know, not trying to be no one else. And, you know, when I, I think when I'm playing my best ball, you know, I think – it's helped the team and help it um help the defense out. You know, I think when I'm going, you know, when I'm got the juice or, you know, I'm making plays, you know, tackles, you know, tackle balls. It just, you know, kinda I, I feel like I give the energy to my, um this defense and to this team. So, you know, I, like I said, every game, every snap, I just wanna be, you know, the best I could be to play my um, best every snap too. Backs red. Jeffrey, sorry if you were asked this already. I uh, just, I just wanted to ask, what, what was it like for you on the sideline there, late as the defense on the sideline, watching the offense drive, watching Pascalski take another shot at that? What's going through your mind at that moment? You know, our team works. We work on these um, type of situations. You know, at one time, you know, that I'm a panic because I trust that um, you know, our offensive coaches and Coach Ray are going to put the offense in the best situation. You know, especially. And that type of situation, you know, in the game, and that's like a two-minute drive, and you know, I didn't plan it at all. You know, um, the kicker went out there, you know, Gronkowski, he went out there and made the kick. You know, I think everybody had a relief. You know, um, of course, you know, no matter about early in the game, it's about you know what's really count. And you know, I think he made the one in the county. So when he made that one, we got the win. So you know, I'm excited for him and um, for making that kick. And the offense had a hell of a drive on that. And getting the ball down so he, we can get in the field goal range. So. Last question, Glennon. Yeah, hey, Jeffrey. Um, just uh, wanted to ask you how much of a challenge was it for you guys when you lose Rashawn Evans, not only one of the best players on the defense, um, but a guy who kind of lines everybody up too. Um, how, how big a challenge was that going forward? You know, um, you know I think for sure uh, Rashawn will learn from that, you know, um, you know, I know I know what type of guy Rashawn is. I know he wouldn't, you know, that's not him. And, you know, of course, he know that, you know, that's kind of hurt him and hurt the team, you know, that this stuff like that, you know. We all have to um, be able to have his back in a situation like that. You know, we have to, you know, try to get him away from a situation like that, pull him out of a situation like that. But at the same time, you know, the guys who came in, Will and um, – and David, they had, they they finished that game with a hell of a game. You know, the, the other guy, they just stepped in, they helped us out get lined up. And I just feel like, you know, that's that's the whole reason we practice. You know, you never know. Um, you know, someone might get hurt in a situation with Rashawn. So we have to all everybody had to be on their toes and ready to go at all times. I think Will and um, David had a hell of a game. They finished out great. And I apologize for something you've uh, already answered, no doubt. But the uh, the goal line play. Uh, looked like you got rid of two blockers before the 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 back. Could you kind of just maybe quickly once again walk walk through that? I mean, like I said, I know I know um, I knew what type of plays they run. I mean, we go with this. We know what type of plays they're gonna try to run on the goal line. You know, either they're gonna run the ball. You know, um, they even play that I made on the um, the tight end, whatever you call it. But you know, I I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm running to the ball, and you know, that's the whole thing about you know effort and finish. You know, we have to. Before to to pull to to the top and you know, once I did that, I'm running to the ball and the ball right there, my you know, what I'm running to. So it just you know shows that you know that when Vray preached that you know we just putting into you know into game situation you know with the defense, everybody running to the ball. I say not just me, but they had a great wall and you know made the ball the ball right there. So you know, everybody just played their part and you know I came over to the other side.